now this. Life, I guess. You look weird. You look special. But you don't have Lefty a sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Seriously, he does. Look different. Oh yeah, alright. How many how many do I have left? Water, 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 water. Two. Only two. Alright. Um oh gosh, there are so many. Alright, um, I'll be This guy is quite close. Well, alright, I'll be giving you one. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. And you. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Oi, sorry for that little cut. Uh, I forgot to turn Skype off, and since that was quite loud, actually, I had to edit it out. But you didn't miss anything. I just gave water to the last peasant, and that means that we're done now, and can tell Lefty that we will be off. Hey, you! Well done! You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. What? No. No, Lefty, no. I'll I'll just be gone. Alright? Don't try to stop me. I think I think he got it. I think he got my message. I'm I'm not one to mess with. I mean I, I try to be nice, but um doesn't work always. Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. It's not exactly like anyone was looking after me in the old camp anyway. The ones that were supposed to look after me actually managed to, to get me beat up. So don't really care. Watch you're your just, back. You're just a god. Oh, you actually have a name. Still, you're just a god. I don't care for your opinion. Um, hello. Nice view. Are you a peasant? Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Okay. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. Alright. Other side of the row of the lake. Uh, probably over there. Oh, what is that? Seems to be a building on a little island right here. I can check that out. And where do you want to go? Why, in there? Forget it! Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. Scrapers and rogues? It's obvious that there'd be trouble ahead. Alright. No, I won't. People always talk. Alright, um, well, Modrak uh, is in there. I think he, he mentioned a tavern uh, on the lake. 
think there's any way around. Well, okay, we can't go in there unless we're a scraper or a rogue, currently. And uh, since, since I'm not any of those, I guess we um, just have to take a look at the new camp. Well, that, that wasn't that impressive. Actually, let's let's get a bit closer. And then let's try that again. The new camp. Yeah, that's better. That's better actually. All right. Uh, now that we did that, the obligatory looking over the entire camp. We can actually take a look around. Wait, you are one of the sect guys. What are you doing here? You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Bal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can already deliver as much as they want to have. Hmm. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his weed for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. Um, I could not actually, because I am not admitted to the tavern. Unless I bribe um, the guy, the bouncer. All right, let's try that. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your tasks now. Bala Sidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. Okay. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people. But only give one stalk to each person. Uh, one more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you, or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Alright, so I suppose these two guys are already taken care of. So, um... Let's let's actually check out this ring first. Um, again, as with the rice fields, there are certain levels here. So um, actually using the mouse just now. Don't know why. I'm just checking whether there are any. Oh. Shh! Hey, you. Who? Me? Exactly. Come over here. Wedge and rogue. All right. Don't like this. I'll have a safe. What do you want? You've just arrived, haven't you? I noticed it straight away. There are a lot of things you need to know. I can teach you a few things. Besides, you have to watch who you talk to. Butch, for example. That's the guy over there, next to the campfire. Be aware of him. What's the matter with Butch? He has the mean habit of beating up the new ones. So you better avoid meeting him. What can you teach me? It depends. What do you want to know? Hmm. Is that sneaking or speaking? Because I, I can't already speak. Uh, wait, so he can... Uh, teaches her to sneak as well. 
can increase our lock picking skills, but we only have 10 skill points. And we can learn to pickpocket from him. Great! What a welcome to this camp. Alright, maybe later, Wedge. Um, you there. Um, I... There we go. I have some swap wheat here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? Okay. Let's butch, 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 butch. That's him. Uh, I'll just... I'm, I won't... I won't talk to him. I'll talk to the other guys here. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. Alright, um... This fellow probably wants some swamp weed too. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. He got some. I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. Now, should we offer some to Butch? You know what? I trust Wedge as much as Butch, so why not talking to him? Hi, who are you? It's none of your business. I don't like your mug. Oh, well, that was unexciting. I thought I could have a piece of chocolate while he's insulting me and, and starting to attack me, but no, actually it's alright, so mm, you can just enjoy me. Or enjoy hearing me chewing on my chocolate bar now. Mm, here you go, my friend. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? Mm, that should be four. If I counted correctly. 